Hey everybody, welcome to PC Perspective. Today I want to talk to you about a project we've been working on that focuses on the upgradability of off-the-shelf OEM desktop PCs. With the release of the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 750 Ti graphics card, they were very heavily promoting the idea that this was the perfect graphics card to make these types of machines gaming ready. To test this, we went to our local Best Buy and we picked three different systems from three different price segments and three different performance levels to really see if the 750 Ti could, could bring these machines up and make them viable gaming platforms. The first one is the Gateway DX4885 system. This is actually a $570 PC. It has an Intel Core i5-4440 quad-core processor. It has Intel HD 4600 graphics, 8 gigs of DDR3 1600 megahertz memory, and a 300 watt power supply. The second system was the Asus M11BB. This is a $440 machine that has an AMD A10 6700 quad-core APU. It has integrated Radeon HD 8670D graphics, 8 gigs of 1600 megahertz DDR3 memory, and a 350 watt power supply. Finally, the Lenovo H520 cost us just $340 and is built around a Pentium G2030 dual core processor. It has unbranded Intel HD graphics, four gigs of DDR3-1333 memory, and a 250 to 280 watt power supply, depending on the temperature rating. The upgrade process on all three of the systems that we purchased was fairly straightforward. Uh, all of them had side doors that came off, a full-size PCI Express by 16 slot was easily accessible, and removing the backplate was simple as well. Installation couldn't have been much more simple. Now the benefit to using the GeForce GTX 750 Ti is that it doesn't require an external power connection. There's no need to hook up a six pin PCI Express power connector, at least in many of the models available for sale. This means that systems like these, that power supplies that don't have those types of power connections, and in one of the cases, didn't have any extra power connections at all, were still able to be upgraded to this graphics card. That's kind of the, one of the main selling points of this particular GTX 750 Ti graphics card. To test the before and after gaming capability of these systems, we ran a bunch of games on them like Grid 2, Crisis 3, Bioshock Infinite, Skyrim, and Metro Last Light. Now, performance scaling from the integrated graphics to the GTX 750 Ti ranged from at the minimum a 5x increase in performance and all the way up to 9x increase in performance depending on the specific game and the specific platform we were testing it on. For example, with the Gateway system, we saw an 8.3x increase in the average frame rate with Skyrim. On the Asus system, we saw an 8.2x increase in frame rate with Bioshock Infinite and on the Lenovo system, we saw a 9.5x increase in performance with Crisis 3. These are not insubstantial numbers. These are huge changes in gaming performance, essentially taking 1080p results that were oftentimes in these single digit frames per second and taking them well into playability ranges over 60 FPS. The GTX 750 Ti for a $150 investment was able to take each of these systems and take them from your basic gaming, non-gaming PC really, your basic computing PC, and turn them into great gaming platforms. When you add in a new discrete graphics card like this, you are going to draw more power from the system than you would with just the integrated graphics. In our testing, that power difference ranged from 50 watts up to 65 watts, depending on the specific system we were using, but none of the three systems had any problems providing enough juice to the graphics card uh, even with the smaller power supply from 250 to 350 watts. Again, that's one of the benefits that NVIDIA has with its new Maxwell architecture and the GTX 750 Ti. Now the question is, is this something you should do? A as a PC builder, I don't really recommend anybody go out and purchase one of these systems, add a 750 Ti to it, and then decide that you have a gaming machine. I still think that buying and building your own product is going to be the best option for you. However, there are lots of cases where gamers or users already have systems like this. Maybe your mom bought you a PC or your dad has a PC like this and plays games every once in a while but doesn't know what he's missing out on by having some discrete graphics. If that's the case, 
purchasing something like the GeForce GTX 750 Ti for $150 makes a lot of sense. You get uh, way better performance, and if your performance is already okay with some lower end games like, say, StarCraft II, you can increase image quality settings as well. In some of our tests, you'll see that you know, we had frame rates in the 100 to 120 frames per second. And even though if you don't need those, feel free to turn up the image quality settings from medium to high or high to very high and actually improve your gaming experience with quality as opposed to just frame rate. So if you happen to have a PC like this or maybe somebody wants to give you one or you find one at a really, really discounted rate um, you know, on a off the shelf, open box build or something like that, then it might be worth it to pick it up get a low cost, high performance add-on card like the GTX 750 Ti and upgrade it to a gaming platform. I'm curious to see what you guys think. Do you have systems like this? Is this something that you would consider doing? Is this something you have done before? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Uh, thanks for watching.